Good morning, everybody. So today we have been talking, well, this week, we have been talking on Class Dojo about following our dreams and having a um, happy and good thoughts for ourselves. So we, we started off with Perfectly Norman, which was um, about not hiding who you are, not feeling like you have to hide your wings or what makes you special. And then yesterday we did Little Joe Chickapig, a story about following your dreams, about our little chick pig who wants to go on adventures but is worried a bit about where and how to start. So today I thought I would do a different um, book, and you're going to be really concerned. You're going to think I'm crazy today, but don't we all know I'm crazy? We're going to read a good night book. But it's a really great book. I met the author back in, I think, February. Um, so it is a bedtime book, but it's so much more than that. So let's look at this. It's called Dream Big Little Scientist. So there's our there's our theme about dreaming and, and having plans for ourselves and goals. So this is our book today. And what's really interesting about this is that there are going to be 12 boys and girls that we're going to see going to bed. And in each of their rooms... They're, they're all interested in science. So in each of their rooms is a different type of science and an important scientist that they look up to, that they want to be like. And I think this is important because, you know, the, yesterday I also talked about um, the rocket ship that didn't go up into space because it didn't happen, um, but it's going to fly on, on Saturday or Sunday. But um, that was kind of like a dream of uh, one of my dreams was, well, I was going to become a teacher. And then I thought, oh, maybe I'll become a teacher astronaut. <laughs> and sometimes our dreams work out. I became a teacher. I didn't become an astronaut. And I'm kind of happy I didn't. But that doesn't mean I'm not interested in space. I mean, you guys know this guy from my classroom, right? Sorry, Snoopy, cut you off in the middle. But I love space and I love learning about space. So that's one of my interests. So I followed my dream, I became a teacher, but I love space. So today we're gonna look at this dream big little scientist. And at the end, I want you to tell me what type of science you think you might be interested in studying. Maybe it's gonna be astronomy like Mrs. Nielsen where you study the stars or, or that kind of stuff, okay? So let's get started with Dream Big Little Scientist. Front cover, back cover, spine. Um, this is, I'm gonna take this off because it's gonna be in my way today. Book jacket, I'm so glad you guys said that. Thank you. And like I said, I met the author. So here are our 12 little people who are interested in science. They are dream big little scientists. Um, and here they are with their different homes. And if you look right here, it says, to Dickham Park, always dream big, Michelle. Oh, uh, Michelle Schwab. So this is written by Michelle Schwab and illustrated by Alice Potter. Okay, everybody. Here they all are, our 12 little scientists. So dream big, little scientists. Close your eyes and close your sleepy eyes. And everybody says, oh, so sleepy, so sleepy, so sleepy. Whoops, there's my cursor again, always in the middle. The sun has tucked itself in bed. And look at her room. The moon is on the rise. What do you think she's interested in? Space, I hope you said that space, yes. So she's got the, the, the lunar phases. And here's her scientist. His name is Carl Sagan. Um, and she's got the sky at night. And she's got her, micro, her telescope out. And she even has a space suit. Yep. And she is interested in, right here, astronomy. Under rock, rumpled mountain quilts. Uh oh, do you have an idea of what he's interested in? Look at his room. 
And it says right here, geology. It's the study of the earth. The earth is snuggle tight. And there's his scientist. Her name is Jess Phoenix. And so he's got all the things having to do with earth and rocks. The oceans walk the world to sleep. The waves whisper good night. I bet you can guess what she's interested in. Did you say the ocean? Sure thing. She's interested in oceanography. And her scientist is somebody that I grew up watching on TV many, many years ago called Jacques Cousteau. And she even has a fish tank in her room. Do you have a fish tank? Rain and snow and winds that blow, I'll hum a lullaby. Oh, can you guess what she's interested in? Did you say the weather? You would be right. She is interested in the weather. Meteorology is right down here. It's very hard to see. But her scientist is right here, Anders Celsius and Gabriel Fahrenheit. Have you ever heard of Celsius or Fahrenheit? It's how we tell the weather, the temperature outside. And it says climate change is happening right now. Yeah, she's interested. They're in, actually, they, they're twins. They're interested in the weather. While mossy carpets stretch out wide, tree limbs yawn up on high. And he's interested in, what do you think? Looking at his bedroom. We've got plants and trees, flowers. There's a flower there, more flowers and plants. We have a bee here. This looks like leaves. Flower, his scientists are George Washington Carver and Thomas Meehan. He's interested in something called botany. That's the study of plants. Isn't that cool? And interestingly, he's wearing a hearing aid to help him hear. Ah, daytime creatures settle down in a den or hole or nest. Boy, I bet you guys can guess what this person's interested in. His scientist is right up here, Wangari Mathai. And he is interested in... study of nature, ecology, how things all interact with each other. How does animals rely on plants and plants rely on animals and all the different types of that we've got deserts and we've got grasslands and oceans and rainforests and tundras. And this is a different one I've never heard of. It's Taiga. Ah, as motion slows and quiet grows, objects come to rest. Now, this is very interesting. This gentleman is Stephen Hawking, and he was in a wheelchair, but he's very, 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 very famous. And he is a famous physicist. So he's interested in physics, and so is she. And look it, just like Stephen Hawking was in a wheelchair, this little scientist is in a, in a wheelchair, and she has two, two on her wall. She also has Donna Strickland, who's another physicist. And they study motion, how things move, how things change. Slumber's been a part of life since prehistoric days. Uh-oh. I don't think we have to tell you what this person's interested in, and I think you can figure it out. And here's their scientist, Mary Anning. And it, they're a big dino book. And what do you think they would call this? Hmm? We would call this, I don't know if I can zoom in on this, paleontology. She's a paleontologist. So she's going to study um, uh, dinosaurs and what happened back during that Jurassic period. She's going to look at fossils and rocks all kinds of things and people all around the world bed down in different ways 
she is going to study people, anthropology. So look at, she's got all kinds of things from different people around the world. And there's the evolution of humans. And she's got two scientists. She's got Mizuko Ito and Taki Libra. I hope I'm saying those names right. So anthropology, the study of people and how people have evolved. Breathe in deep, then let it out and feel your heartbeat slow. Oh, I think you're going to like this one. Look it. He's meditating. He's studying the what? What do you think he's studying? They see a, a white coat there with a stethoscope. Did you say human body? Yeah. So he's studying physiology. And his scientist is Joseph Lister. So all of his books have to do with health and the human body. Medicine. And here we have, like water flows from melting ice, peri melting ice, um, peace spreads from head to toe. So this person is interested in chemistry. So kind of breaking things down. When you get older, you learn about this table of periodic table of elements. But so she's like looking at slime and she's looking at um, water, that how it evaporates and condenses. It goes from a liquid gas to a solid. She's got a scientist kit here. She's got the picture of an atom there. And here her scientist, Madame Curie, Marie Curie and Alice Ball. Aren't those great books? Great scientists. We're learning a lot about science tests. You didn't know that you were going to do that on a sleepy time book. Dream away, young scientists. And tomorrow you'll learn more. So we went into 12 different bedrooms of 12 different scientists. When you wake and venture out to ask, observe, and explore... And look at, see, everybody's kind of doing their own things that they're interested in. So she's physics. So she's throwing the paper airplanes. Um, this one's looking at, they're looking at the weather. Here they're digging. Uh, here we're looking at plants and all of that. Here we're doing, practicing our yoga and our meditation, learning about the body. Ah, and here we are. Think like a scientist. So like I said, there's all these different astronomy. When you study the space, geology, you study the earth, oceanography, you study the ocean, meteorology, um, that's the weather, botany is plants, ecology is the combination of animals and plants, physics, kind of motion, paleontology, that's if you want to study dinosaurs, anthropology is different people. Um, where they come from, the foods and the customs and the things that they do. Physiology, that's our body and our health. And chemistry, all those little things that we can't see that make up everything we do. So today, your homework is, if you can, write in the comments some sort of science that you're interested in learning. Like, I'm interested in astronomy. I love to watch the, the, the astronauts go into space and learn about what they're doing up there. Um, so if you can just have mom or dad help you type in the comments about what type of space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this picture on there. Plus, I'm going to add two more links for you. One is from this author, Michelle Schwab, and it's all about the different, the different scientists that are on her wall. And another one is a science website that if you'd like to try out and look at, you can. Okay? So I hope today is a science-filled day. It's, it's going to rain today. So what what well, that's going to be our meteorology if you're following what's happening with the weather today. If you're going to watch on Saturday or Sunday, that's the, the space, space X Falcon 9 go up into space. That's going to be astronomy. But our world is filled with science, boys and girls, and you guys are scientists. So tell me, maybe you're interested in those dinosaurs and that paleontology because, you know, I raise tiny dinosaurs. Yep, 
chickens are related to dinosaurs. So I guess I'm interested in paleontology too. Didn't think of that until just now. So you guys have a good day and tell me what type of science you're interested in, my little scientists. You guys have a great day. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile. Bye.